Hey dudes, welcome back to another video. Today we're sitting on a couch, we're not going outside, and today's video is mostly meant for the people who are interested in YouTube and how YouTube monetization works. So, if you're not interested in this stuff and you just want to click away, I'll totally understand and I'll see you in the next video. The reason why I want to make today's video is because I've noticed that there's recently been a spike of interest on how YouTube monetization works. And it's totally understandable because a lot of us are spending a lot more time at home and the idea of making money on YouTube while doing nothing sounds really good. So today I'll answer all of the questions that I received about YouTube and money. And what makes me the expert of YouTube? Because over the years of hard work, I have managed to grow my super small channel from nothing to, well, still nothing. But hey, at least I will tell you how things really are, what worked for me, with no promises of 125 step program of success in one week. Because there's no such thing. So let's get into those questions that you guys have asked me over the time and maybe this helps you. So the most popular question that I always get is how much subscribers do you need to get money on YouTube? At this moment to qualify for YouTube monetization you need 1000 subscribers. But 1000 subscribers is not going to be enough because you also need to accumulate 4000 hours of watch time on YouTube in the last year. Once you get both of those numbers at the same time YouTube will start to review your channel if it's eligible for monetization. For me, I think it took a bit over one week and then I was re-monetized because I was monetized and they changed the whole system and then they demonetized me and then re-monetized me again once I hit the criteria. But I'll talk about that a bit later in the video. But if for some reason you lose one of the subscribers and now you have 999 subscribers, but still you have the right amount of watch time, then YouTube will not review your channel or demonetize your channel. And the same thing goes for watch time hours. If now you have 1000 subscribers, but 3999 hours of watch time, then YouTube will not review your channel or demonetize you. How this thing makes sense? Okay, next question. How much YouTube pays for each subscriber? Well, the official amount right now for each subscriber is nothing. YouTube doesn't pay for subscribers. Next question, how much money do you get for 100 watch time hours? Also nothing. YouTube doesn't pay for watch time hours. Okay, next question, how much money do you get for 1000 subscribers? Well, it's the same question and the answer is pretty much the same, but let me give you a straight answer about this. There is no specific amount YouTube pays for any amount of subscribers. So this is how YouTube monetization works. YouTube pays you every time there's an ad showing in front of your video, in the middle of your video, or at the end of your video. But only if the people watching those ads click on the ads. And then you would get a tiny amount of money for each time that happens. And even then the amount that you would get is completely different between each channel. So there's no way to say specifically how much everyone's getting. And that's called CPM on YouTube. You can check that out in your YouTube analytics. It also depends on how popular the channel is. See, the same ad showing on a smaller channel would not get as much money as the same ad showing on a very popular video with a lot of subscribers and a lot of views. So you can't really calculate how much everyone is getting. It's always just an estimate or approximate. And once your channel grows more, your CPM grows with it. So you get more subscribers, more views, more comments, more likes, all the engagement counts together. So the YouTube algorithm thinks that showing the ad on your video is more worthy. And that's how you get more money. So the CPM changes all the time. When your channel grows, you get more money, but it also changes between the seasons. So let's say in January, your CPM is gonna get a lot lower but in December, when everyone wants to pay more for the ads, you, you, you'll get more and your CPM will grow. But the short answer would be, you don't get any money for any subscribers. So the next question, does YouTube pay me every single day? No, no, not at all. And it doesn't pay anyone every single day. YouTube pays you once a month and only if you reach the threshold of $100 in that month. And if you don't reach the threshold, YouTube keeps the money that you've earned in their AdSense account until you finally reach the threshold and then they would pay you at the end of the month. For normal YouTubers, it just happens 
once a month as a salary. Next question, do you get more money from subscribers or from the views? Now we talked about the subscribers, you don't get any money from subscribers, but you still need them to be eligible for monetization because even if you have 1 million views but no subscribers for some reason, then you would still get no money. So you still need your 1000 subscribers to be eligible for monetization and anyways, I think having subscribers is a good indication that people are interested in watching your videos. Except if you're just getting buying subscribers or asking people to subscribe you for no reason. And that will not work because just because you have subscribers doesn't mean that those people are actually watching your videos. At the same time, if you have a lot of subscribers and a lot of views, but not enough watch time because your videos are very short, then you will still not be eligible for a monetization. You pretty much have to get all three of them working together. You need to have a lot of views, so that will bring you more money. But you also need to get more watch time, so you need to keep people engaged in your videos so they're interested in watching them. And in the end, you still need to find a way for people to want to be subscribed to your channel. So all three things matter equally. Next question, which criteria did I use to reach the watch time hours? See, I really like this question because when YouTube changed the whole monetization policy a couple of years ago, I had enough subscribers, I had a bit over 1000 subscribers, but my watch time hours were way off. So YouTube asked for 4,000 watch time hours a year. And at that point I had 500 hours of watch time in that year. So it kind of got me really angry because I thought there's no possible way I could ever get eight times more watch time hours than I have right now. At that point, it seemed completely impossible. It took me 11 months and 35 more videos to finally reach the watch time hours that YouTube was asking for. But hey, that's just me because someone who's actually talented and good at making videos would probably do it a lot quicker than I did. So what I did first, I started making a lot longer videos because usually my videos were one minute to three minute long and then I kind of switched them up and made them seven to 10 minute long. I also started making a lot more videos. I looked in my analytics and looked at the videos who are getting more views than others and started making similar kind of videos to those and I started working on my thumbnails and the keywords that I'm putting in the description because all of that stuff matters. I also started looking at search terms, you can find them in analytics on YouTube, to see what people are actually looking for or searching for when they find my videos. And then I would make more videos about the things that people are actually searching for. And on top of all that, you also have to keep experimenting with the videos that you're making because you can't keep making the same stuff forever and ever, especially if it doesn't work. But sometimes you really want to make this video, but you think, oh, this doesn't belong to my channel. And then you make it and it turns out to be the best video that you've ever made and people really like it. And sometimes you think, oh, this is such a good video, everyone's gonna love it and no one gives a shit. And sometimes the videos that you're kind of embarrassed about and you think, wow, these are really bad, they suck, I don't know why I put them on, suddenly get some views. So, see, YouTube, the way YouTube works is pretty much a mystery and no one knows what's happening. Okay, one last question. If I have 10,000 subscribers and 100,000 watch time hours, why am I not monetized? Well, first of all, congratulations. Well, the reason why you're not monetized could be that you might be using copyrighted material in your videos or you're not following the YouTube monetization guidelines. Because even if you reach the subs and watch time, but your channel is not in good standing, then YouTube could still deny the partnership with YouTube. So you have to go through your channel, go through all of your videos, see if everything follows the YouTube guidelines. Are you using copyrighted videos, music, images, anything, if any of your videos follow all the YouTube policy? And then you can ask YouTube to review your channel and they will. Okay, I hope these questions and answers made some things more clear about YouTube. And if you still have questions, you can ask them in the comment section and I'll do my best to help if I know the answer. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching it. And if it was any useful, leave a like. And if you wanna see more videos of me, then you can subscribe and 
I'll see you in the next video. Bye.